make accurate measurements of liquids, oftentimes you're going to be using what we call volumetric pipettes, like this one. Uh, we're going to give you trays so that when you're working with volumetric pipettes, we want you to always keep the pipettes on the trays. The reason for that is that this actually can roll off a table really easily. And if they fall, uh, obviously they will break. So try to remember to always keep the volumetric pipettes on the trays because they're really expensive. You need to be really careful when you work with volumetric pipettes that you don't damage the tip of the pipette. Because when they get nick or chip, we actually they actually don't work anymore. So the, the tip of the volumetrics, uh, they need to be intact. When using volumetric pipettes, you always want to put the reagent that you're measuring inside a beaker. Never, never put volumetric pipettes inside bottles of reagents to avoid uh, contamination. To fill the you read, uh, you want to carefully put the tip of the you read on your beaker with your solution. I'm right-handed, so I like using my right hand to control the flow and my left hand to control the bulb. So I'm going to squeeze. I don't want to squeeze when the uh, uh, tip of the burette is on the reagent because then I'm just going to like push a bunch of uh, air bubbles through the reagent and sometimes uh, that can be bad. So make sure that you squeeze first and then you attach the uh, bowl to the end of the volumetric pipette and then use the section from the bowl to start filling the volumetric pipette. Oftentimes, uh, you're gonna have to do these more. You're gonna have to do two pumps to be able to fill it all the way. So notice how I'm using my index finger to close the end of the volumetric pipette so that no liquid uh, comes out of it. So if I was to release the vacuum, the liquid will come out, but then I just use my uh, index finger uh, to keep the liquid from coming out. So then I'm gonna Aspirate. There you go. All volumetric pipettes are marked to a set volume. This is a 25 mil. And to get exactly 25 mils, you need to bring the meniscus right on top of the 25 mil mark on the volumetric pipette. Again, I, I went past the mark intentionally and I'm just slowly gonna release some of the vacuum till I get the meniscus to go right on the line. Uh, you want the tip of the volumetric pipette to touch the inside wall of the beaker. This could also be an alert major flash. And then you're just going to let the liquid flow out on its own. So I'm doing this while the tip is actually touching. Uh, the inside wall of the container where I'm transferring the liquid. Okay, so what I want you to notice is that when you're finished, there's gonna be a little bit of liquid left on the tip of the burette and that is exactly what you want. So the way that these are calibrated are to the lever 25 mils um, accounting for the fact that some of the liquid 
is gonna be left behind on the tip of the of the pipette. This is why you don't want to uh, blow uh, the liquid out of the volumetric pipette because if you did that, then you will end up with a little bit more than the 25 mils uh, that you want. So if I went and did these to try to get all the liquid out, I will actually end up with a little bit more liquid than 25 mils. The other thing that you need to be, you need to watch out for is to be careful that when you're filling the puree, uh, you don't go so far that you end up with a bunch of uh, reagent inside the bulb, right? So you want to make sure uh, that you remove the bulb or you start stop sucking before uh, the liquid gets uh, all the way to the top of the volumetric. So ideally you want to be just about where I am right here and then use your index finger to adjust the meniscus to the mark.